got a from somewhere in the middle of Idaho. I thought I'd do today's episode on my stock photography earnings live. Well, because I'm also uh, doing a lot of camping right now, so I'm making my trip from Whidbey Island back to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. This episode, of course, is my my uh, monthly episode where I have a uh, complete transparency with you guys on how much money you can make in the stock photography industry. So sorry if the audio quality or video quality is a little uh, a little off from usual, but um, I am in the middle of nowhere and I'm lucky to have a cell phone signal. So. Let me just get down to it. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you guys any of my pictures this time around, anything that's sold, because obviously I'm doing this uh, live. But just so you guys know, stock photography is not an industry that you get rich in. And I understand I get a lot of people, they comment that it's not worth the effort. And that's fine. Uh, for those of us who are hobbyists in this, it's perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, you don't make a lot, as you're going to see from these first couple of stock agencies I use. Now, for these agencies, the way how I encode my uh, metadata, my title, description, keywords into my images, and sorry if you hear a car coming, I'm not too far off of um, a road, and I hear one coming. But anyhow, uh, the way how I encode them in the images, it makes it very easy for me to upload these to these minor stock agencies, which amounts to a couple hundred dollars a year. Um, so I, when I upload to them, I literally say upload, I walk away, go grab a cup of coffee, do something else come back go to the next one so let's get the bad ones out of the way our deposit photos made two sales 47 cents Woo. okay can stock photo four images a dollar five dreams time i had uh, four sales a dollar 52 big stock photo 10 sales four dollars 25 cents and the last bad one is one two three rf seven sales five dollars and 49 cents so again those sites they really aren't the effort i mean do not you just if you're going to do this don't use those sites if you want to just don't use them exclusively now i know some people have commented before that they have really good luck with some of these other sites and if you are please put that into the comments let me know uh, but i don't these next few sites I do have a bit more luck with uh, Getty Images, 35 sales, $34 in commissions. Uh, Shutterstock, and yes, I know I'm not a big fan of Shutterstock either, but they actually are starting to show some promise. Well, except for the this particular month of April, they're not showing any promise. But anyhow, for the month of March, I had promise, 48 sales, $70.06. And, and then, of course, my favorite Adobe stock, 77 sales for $83.92. So for March, my totals, I have $187, or excuse me, 187 sales and $200.77. So um, this was actually my best March ever. Let me just kind of run through what the numbers were these past couple of years. For 2017, I only had $18.45. 2018, I had $69.17. 2019, $69.63. 2020, $149.58. And of course, this year, which was $200.77. I'm going to grab my coffee, guys. It's 38 degrees out here right now, and this is keeping me warm. You guys can see behind me, this was my evening photo shoot last night that I filmed for all of you guys. Like I said, I am currently on my way back home. I've been gone for five months. And I've been hiding from all of you why I was actually in Washington State. Now, all of you guys know that I am still in the military, and I did accept a short uh, military mobilization opportunity. Um, worked with a lot of great people. But I can now tell you, since everybody is home, um, I can tell you that I was up there for the uh, final operational mission of the P-3 Orion. So it was really kind of cool to be part of that little historical event. But that's what also gave me the opportunity to be able to go around the Pacific Northwest and film for you guys. I know these next few episodes that are coming up on the channel are going to be during a major snowstorm. And uh, let me tell you, I'm glad I had this guy here because I would have gone nowhere without it on that island. It was absolutely beautiful. So I got a couple of episodes coming up uh, for all of you. Also, we're getting close to the end of April which means my normal two episodes a week is going to come to an end. I'm going to be uh, focusing on just doing one episode a week on Sundays. And I'm doing that just so I can give you guys much more quality in um, the production of these uh, videos and also so that 
um, I can do much better planning. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys on the type of content that all of you like, and I'm listening, so that's what I'm planning for. Oh, here comes an RV. Hang on. Now that is one big RV. All right, so I am filming this entire trip for you guys, but I'm also filming a series on the uh, uh, most comp five most common different uh, shooting modes on your camera, so you can a little bit learn a little bit more about the creative functions of your camera. So this is my last day in Idaho. Um, I am going to be heading down. Looks like I'm going to try and camp out in uh, Canyonlands National Park in Utah. Or I might get stuck in the mountains of Utah. We'll see whichever one looks good by the time I get there. I'm still a few hours north. As you guys can see, I'm also at a bit of altitude right now with all this snow up here. I was trying to camp last night, but the winds were so bad, my tent collapsed. So I ended up actually getting a hotel down the street in McKay, Idaho. Um, really wish I wouldn't because I had a spectacular morning photo shoot literally outside of my tent. But I can see by the clouds it would have uh, blocked the light and it wouldn't have been as spectacular as I hoped. All right, guys. So anyhow, I'm sorry I can't see any questions or anything. I'm doing this entirely on my phone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, <clears throat> it's cold out here. I'm doing this entirely on my phone, so I can't take questions today, guys. Um, but go ahead and put them in the comments, and I'm hoping to have uh, internet again in a couple of hours when I get a little closer to Salt Lake City. Um, I've learned out here, internet comes maybe once every 30 minutes, and if you're not paying attention, you miss it. So, very remote place. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and as always, please consider going to your local animal shelter and adopting a, one of our furry little four-legged friends in need. And if you can't, please consider uh, making a donation to your animal shelter. I'll catch y'all later. Take care. I'm going to finish my coffee and get this adventure going once again. Take care, buddy. Now the fun part, I've actually never stopped an episode from my phone. <laughs>